When conservative pro-life lawmaker Representative Bob Morris expressed his concern about the relationship between Girl Scouts USA and Planned Parenthood, he was attacked, ridiculed, and mocked. Kathy Ritchie, CEO of Girl Scouts Central Indiana, which is Representative Morris's local Girl Scout Council, found the concerns funny. Ritchie responded to Morris's statements with laughter in several media interviews. <laughs> Somehow, Kathy Ritchie laughs in spite of the legislators' accusations about her organization. Speaker Brian Bosma fueled this attack on Representative Morris as he openly mocked him by munching on Girl Scout cookies during the legislative session following the news coverage of Morris's concerns. About all that. Laughter is the first measure to the truth, and that's what I can say to that. Here's the laughter. <laughs> and here's the truth, courtesy of Girl Scouts USA CEO, Kathy Cloninger. We partner with many organizations. We have relationships with our church communities, with YWCA's, and with Planned Parenthood organizations across the country to bring information-based uh, sex education programs to girls. <laughs> Representative Morris also expressed concern over the liberal ideology promoted by Girl Scouts in the GSUSA printed materials. What's that all about? Girl Scouts patch requirements for the Dolores Huerta patch send Girl Scouts from grades kindergarten, yes, kindergarten on up, to DoloresHuerta.org, where young girls can find praise for Planned Parenthood and live links to the websites of Planned Parenthood, California Latinas for Reproductive Justice, and Feminist Majority Foundation to name a few. Also, the patch requirements for 6th grade and up tell girls to visit the websites now.org, leagueofwomenvoters.org, and Ms. Magazine. All offer support for abortion rights. Let's look at the Girl Scouts journey books for girls. The printed curriculum used and sold by every Girl Scout Council bookstore throughout the United States. The Girl Scouts book called Agent of Change asks 4th and 5th grade girls to work with Sierra Club in a Take Action project. Through Sierra Club's Global Population and Environment program, they advance global reproductive health, which we know, according to our U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, includes abortion. Sierra Club's partners and collaborators in this project include Guttmacher Institute, Planned Parenthood, CQs, and many other abortion rights advocacy groups. But there's more. Girl Scouts recommends many other pro-abortion groups and resources to girls, like ACLU, Womankind.org, Amnesty International, Population Council, to name a few. In the girls' printed materials and online, Girl Scouts USA constantly endorses the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, also called WAGS, by promoting one of WAGS's largest sources of income, World Thinking Day, and also by telling girls to visit WAGS.org. On the WAGS website, girls will find a smiling cartoon condom and promotion of sexual rights for youth and contraception, including emergency contraception? Why is GSUSA promoting all this to girls when GSUSA states 
The Girl Scout organization does not take a position on abortion or birth control. We believe these matters are best decided by girls and their families. But what about the pro-life groups that Girl Scouts refers to? Let's talk about those. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We couldn't find one single organization in the printed materials for girls that promotes the pro-life position. Can you? Speaker Vazma, I wonder, how do your Thin Mints taste now? In March 2012, the Girl Scouts blog, which GSUSA recommends for girls, provided live links to the websites of Marie Claire, Alternate, and I Village, as the groups have in some way recently promoted the Girl Scouts organization. If GSUSA wants to boast that these media outlets are recognizing them, well, okay, but why provide a live link to these websites that contain sexually explicit content to girls? Earlier in 2012, the Girl Scouts blog provided girls a live link to an article on Jezebel.com entitled, OMFG, there's a new Girl Scout cookie? We all know that Girl Scouts no longer requires girls to honor God in the Girl Scout promise, but now they promote blasphemy? And you don't even want to know what else girls can find on the Jezebel site. Definitely an adult R-rated site. Jezebel even offers abortion Mad Libs? I have to wonder, Miss Ritchie, are you still laughing? 